So I just wanted to take a quick look at Witch's Night Out. This is a 1978 uh, Canadian short TV film. So um, I think this is actually the only Canadian uh, produced short that I've run across in this entire series so far. Um, but this is also, um, this was premiered on the NBC uh, network or channel. And then of course, um, this is also considered a uh, sequel to the 1974 uh, special, The Gift of Winter. So once again, this one also later aired on the uh, Fox and Disney Channel. So this one ran from 1983 through the late 90s. And once again, this is just something I have never even heard of or watched until recently. This has a very, I guess you could say, unique or different art style. You have, I guess you could say, abstract-ish people. You've got pink people, green people. You've got um, a pink lady who looks like she has a pom-pom head. It's kind of weird. Um, for the most part, yes, the, uh, I guess you could say the doodles are, are fairly crudely drawn. Um, the voice acting is decent, but it's it's more the, I guess you could say, the style of the drawing side did not interest me. I just thought they were just pretty fun. But uh, this one features uh, two children. They're out trick-or-treating. Obviously, uh, they're disappointed because um, obviously their neighbors recognize them. No one was scared. Obviously, one child went as a ghost. The other one was a werewolf. And later that evening, when they return home, they're just kind of pouting that they didn't scare anyone. And apparently, a very bored witch overhears this so she makes it over to their home and with her magic wand she turns them into an actual ghost and an actual werewolf the babysitter's kind of like whoa hey chill out you know I'm, I'm taking care of these kids I'm responsible here and then I guess he just kind of fears oh well whatever you know I'll I'll be Frankenstein's creature that seems cool so they go and they crash a party which ironically happens to be held in her home which was assumed to have been an abandoned house so you have adults throwing a Halloween party in what they assumed was like an abandoned creepy house which happens to be this witch's house and she pretty much just showed up with real monsters because I guess she just wanted to shake things up a bit and instead everyone gets the pretty much gets the snot scared out of them they run out and form a lynch mob in the middle of this, there is a woman who somehow randomly gets the witch's wand stuck in her hair, and she's concocting all of these disgusting food uh, creations and pretty much just destroying the town um, in her mindlessness. So, obviously, uh, due to all of this uh, action, I guess you could say the witch is able to follow and retrieve her wand. As punishment, she turns these two idiots into actual monsters and they're about to be torn to shreds by the town people um, before she changes them back and she fixes all of the mess that had been done and you would assume well they would have just turned on her and attacked her as well uh, because people are just morons but instead they pretty much just embrace her and um, I guess to her that was good enough she decides to turn everybody into whatever it is that they actually want to be for Halloween. So I guess that in itself was just kind of interesting. You've, um, you've got this very goth mother running around doing all of this random stuff. But I really wasn't too impressed with the, this, this one. It's not a film that I had ever heard of. Um, it is fairly short, once again, a very basic plot. But then again, when you're working with shorts, you really don't have much time for a complicated story to begin with. But, um, yeah, I wasn't really too crazy about this. At one point, uh, there was a remastered version that was released through Mill Creek Entertainment. This was also on a set of various other um, Halloween specials. And, of course, apparently as of 2006, you can also find this on uh, Hulu as well as Shout TV. But, um, yeah, I mean... I really wasn't too uh, too impressed with this one. I didn't think too much of it, but you know, um, definitely a time killer. If you have nothing better to do, give it a whirl. Um, feel free to share your thoughts, and I will talk to you later.